Krista Allen's alter ego, Taylor Hayes, is currently causing a stir on the front burner of bold and beautiful alongside characters like his Brooke, Ridge, and her on-screen children, Thomas and Steffi. This role is keeping Krista Allen fairly busy at the moment, but the actress has found time in between sessions of learning all of her lines to begin contemplating what she will wear to the Daytime Emmy Awards, and she won't be the only one involved in the decision-making process. Allen recognized that the fact that the daytime Emmys have been postponed as a result of the ongoing writer's strike would give her a little bit more time to prepare for her performance. Even yet, it is of the utmost importance to be ready. Allen solicited the assistance of Team Taylor, also known as her followers on various social media platforms, in order to narrow down her options. The candidate disclosed that she has been getting so many dresses sent my way, and it's too hard to pick. The actress decided to conduct a survey among the viewers of Bold and Beautiful in order to get a sense of what sort of gown they'd like to see her wear on the special occasion. She posed the question, what kind of style would y'all like to see me wear? In order to gather this information, the options for the poll were as follows, sparkly and fun, classic and structured, chic and flowy, and of course, sexy and fitted. At the time this article was being written, Sexy held a commanding lead over the competition, and the vast majority of readers agreed with this assessment. I'm having trouble deciding which dress to wear to the Emmys. I have been getting so many outfits delivered to me that it is quite difficult to choose. What kind of clothing do y'all think it would be cool if I wore? Hashtag bold and beautiful. Krista Allen at Krista Lenso, June 6, 2023. Allen dropped a hint about her potential date for the awards show this year, while she was talking with fans in the comments section, and it was her son Jake. She disclosed that he has expressed an interest in walking the red carpet with her if he is in town. So fun! According to what I've heard, every one of us will be responsible for purchasing our own tickets this year. Ha ha ha! Jake, my son, is going to make the effort to accompany me if he is in the area at the time. Krista Allen at Krista Lenso, June 6, 2023. Allen also guaranteed to keep Team Taylor updated on her work and stated that she would gather the looks and post once again, once I narrow options, once she had reduced the number of possibilities. We think it's awesome that she's include her supporters in every step of the process. Thank you. I'm going to gather all of the possible looks and then I'll post again once I've narrowed down my alternatives. However, I cannot express how much I value the assistance. I am not a dress-up girl at all. I'm a pro when it comes to the overalls, no makeup, and ponytail look. Krista Allen at Krista Lenso, June 6, 2023. In addition to the numerous suggestions pertaining to fashion that were made in the comments, there were also some funny ones. One clever spectator of Bold and the Beautiful offered the following warning. Put on some armor in preparation for Nine Toes' possible appearance. David Haley at Da Holly Tix, June 6, 2023. While still another person advised her to steer clear of a certain fashion line, which was, whatever you decide to put on, as long as it is not from the Hope for the Future collection, you will look fantastic in it. Bruce Saucier at Bruce Saucier 8, June 6, 2023. Get a move on. Those beautiful outfits were fashioned by Taylor's son, Thomas. Share your thoughts with us in the comment box that follows.